This leads to our next topic because chances are you've wandered down the pharmacy aisle in your local store. You've even come across these over-the-counter sleep aids like you're seeing right here. Well, a few feet away, you may see a pretty pink box for allergy relief like this. Both, ironically, have the exact same ingredient and dosage. Um, just the other day, I was actually in the store kind of I mean, perusing the study. aisles. You, you came up with I, this, right? I, I kid you all not. So, what's the difference between these two pills other than their color? Price, yes. The generic brand allergy relief was $3 more than the Sleepy Relief. An exact exact same product. Diphenhydramine is the ingredient, the generic name for, you know, these medicines. An antihistamine. It's an antihistamine that can make you drowsy. But it, it, it gets back to, we always talk about with food, read the ingredients list. You have to do the same in the pharmacy aisle because you might literally pay six, seven, eight dollars more for the exact same medicine if you don't read the packaging. And what I also find interesting about this story, and this is where things got really crazy. Package warnings, exact same, exact same medicine. The sleep aid, it says drowsiness will occur. Don't drive. The allergy relief, the exact same medicine says drowsiness may occur. Use caution when driving. <laughs> I, I, what, what? <laughs> it's the same medication. As a consumer, you have to be so very smart. When it comes to these things, you know, myself, if I'm going to buy diphenhydramine, 25 milligrams, I'm going to buy the cheapest generic version of it. I'm not gonna pay an extra five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 bucks just so that I can have a different package warning and a different name on the box. So you're being cheap in this case paid off. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you came up 